Woo woo, you know who it is. So look, it's him here with a brand new episode of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger unboxing. And this time we have none other than the Pink Ranger from the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, which was released in 1995. But the action figure line was remade, I believe, in 2016. You can see that beautiful triangular box. Very artistic. And as we know from the other ones, there's always a nice little story on the back. Some good information which happened in the movie. You can collect them all. Shows all the different ones in the line. We have the Pink Ranger information right there. And of course the action figure information. So as you guys can see, this one actually comes with quite a bit. The holster for the gun. Nice little Pink Ranger sword. Or no, that was the whip. Yeah, I remember actually from the original movie. So we're going to actually allow this Pink Ranger to come out of the box and breathe some air. Let's get right into it, guys. And like always, we got the one and only Bray Tube. Hey, guys. He's going to record as I open up the box because that's what I need my hands for. And those are gone. They fell over, guys. So let's go ahead and get this action figure out of the box. I know last time I kind of skipped the untaping process. I just want to show that you guys it is brand new. And I, there we go. So, for the very first time, this figure is going to be released outside of the box. And we got the nice ooze background. There you have it. The Pink Ranger is finally outside. And look at those boots. I never actually paid attention to the original movie like uh, with their boots. They got the diamonds on them. And then they got the diamonds on the... Uh, well, they usually always have the diamonds there. But look, they got this like pink uh, If you guys details. look at the boots, the Green Rangers are a lot different than the others. Well, yeah, the Green Ranger's always been different than the White Ranger. There's a nice big close up of the Pink Ranger. Very nice details. I like the helmet. So let's get him out of the package. There we go, guys. We got some nice details. Now, the head... I don't know what's with this head, but for some reason, it just looks like it's really forward. I don't know if you guys can see that. The helmet is... The face is kind of, like, really forward. You should check the gluteus maximus for any writing. They might have moved I guess the it's writing. kind of supposed to be like that. It just... I don't know, the helmet's just really forward, but I like everything else here. Very detailed, got some nice indentation all around. We got the nice shields, the armor, the legs even got some kind of fancy indentation there. Got some good movement, some decent movement there. Could be worthy of a nice stop motion Oh, look at that. The foot is weak. That just came off very easily. So, just so you guys know, if you ever do get this figure, 
the, the, the feet are kind of weak there. Kind of bummed out a little bit about that, but what can you do when you live in a shoe? I wonder if there's any marking on the back. Yeah, so like the other ones, guys, there's a stamp right there. And I don't know what it is, but this looks so separated. The legs look so separated, like it's not even attached to the body. Yeah. I feel like they kind of rushed this Pink Ranger a bit. Yeah, well the other ones could end up being like that as well. But we got some nice paint job. I like the paint job, we don't see anything overlaying. Which is pretty nice, I like the gold shield on the Pink Ranger. Let's get the weapons out. And there it is, guys. And remember, if you watched the original movie, she used the whip to whip the the crows, I believe, and the uh, the ooze looking uh, enemies. And the hand just came off easily. What is going on here? I mean, it would be kind of cool if it came with, like, extra body parts, like feet and hands that you can switch out to. It makes sense why they came off so easily, but I don't know. That's a little bit too easy. As for, like, the figure itself just posing, I, I kind of like it. I just... I was gonna... I was hoping to make a stop motion with the, all these Power Rangers from the original movie, but I don't know. Might not be able to do it with this. We only have the one problems. connection piece here. It's not too bad. Very small, obviously. The Pink Ranger, the well, the whole Power Ranger, this Power Ranger line are very small action figures. So that could be another reason why. The connections are a bit spaced and a bit off. I'd say not too bad though. What do you think, Braytube? I think it's pretty good besides the detaching part. And once again, stamping on the gluteus maximus. Yeah. They should put that on the foot. That's true. Not but... the rear end. Well guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, go ahead and like and subscribe. We're going to be opening up some more Power Ranger action figures in the future. And then maybe moving on to another series of action figures. I do collect a lot of wrestlers. So wrestling action figures could be another part of the series. But for now guys... That's all we have. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.